again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 13th of March, 2019. Article posted by CNN, put up on the web on the 13th of March, 2019. Title, 70 million are in the path of bomb cyclones set to strike the central U.S. bringing snow, hail, and rain. Written by Madison Park, L.A. Mazurik, and Judson Jones of CNN. You want to take a look at the embedded video. An intense and ferocious winter storm, a cyclone bomb, is expected to bring hurricane force wind gusts, blizzard conditions, and flood threats across a swath of the U.S. heartland Wednesday. You think that the weather has been manipulated, huh? Hmm. A cyclone bomb occurs when there is a rapid pressure drop, falling at least 24 millibars, which measures atmospheric pressure over 24 hours, known as bomb genesis. The massive storm is expected to wallop areas including the rocky central northern plains, the upper Midwest, with blizzard condition and winds that could blow from 50 to 70 miles per hour. Other hazards include heavy snow and severe storms with possible tornadoes and flooding. Blizzard and winter storm warnings are in effect for portions of Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Heavy snow is expected in portions of the Rockies and Northern Plains, including Denver, into Thursday. Travel will be dangerous, if not impossible at times, across the Front Range where the blizzard warnings have been issued. Severe storms capable of producing damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes is forecast from the southern plains and into the Mississippi River Valley. More than 45 people, millions, are under a high wind threat. More than 10 million are under winter storm threats, and more than 15 million are under a flood threat. Hope they have flood insurance. The National Weather Service in Boulder, Colorado issued a blunt message Tuesday. Please cancel any travel plans Wednesday afternoon and evening, especially east of I-25, and stay tuned for further updates. It warned of icy roads, whiteout conditions, and strong winds. Quote, the heavy snow and visibility near zero will create extremely dangerous travel conditions and power outages and also possible, according to the National Weather Service. Travel in schools affected. More than 1,000 flights have been canceled Wednesday. According to FlightAware, the majority of those cancellations are at the Denver International Airport, where a blizzard warning is in effect. Southwest, Frontier, and United have canceled flights, and more cancellations and delays are possible, DIA said. Multiple Colorado school districts, including the Denver Public Schools, are closed Wednesday due to severe weather and road conditions, the district announced Tuesday. All schools-related events and activities that were scheduled for Wednesday are also canceled. Denver is under a blizzard warning, and snow accumulations of 5 to 8 inches are expected. Thunderstorms across portions of the Southwest Plains will make their way on Wednesday for sustained winds of 35 to 45 miles an hour akin to the strength of low and tropical storms. MWS has issued high wind watches for more than 8 million people. Gusts of up to 100 miles an hour, wind gusts from 50 to 70 are expected Wednesday afternoon through Thursday morning across Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. CNN meteorologist Monica Garrett said some areas could see gusts as strong as 100 miles an hour which is equivalent to the wind speed of a Category 2 hurricane. The storm is forecast to rapidly intensify overnight Wednesday east of the Colorado Rockies and trek slowly northeast through Thursday, delivering a variety of extreme weather from New Mexico to the Midwest. Snow is expected to taper off midday Thursday, but strong winds may persist through the evening. In addition, flood watches have been issued across the Midwest and Great Plains that concerns the heavy rains will melt snowpack and trigger significant flooding. Flash flooding is possible if ice jams clog rivers and streams, the Weather Service noted. 
Again, folks, you think that our weather is being manipulated? You think maybe they can't kill us fast enough? Just ask them. I'll attach the link. Take a look at the maps. Take a look at the embedded video. Thanks for listening. Stay safe.